Menominee head coach Sam Larson has completely turned this Maroons basketball program around. The team ended the 2018 season just 4 in 17. And now, four seasons later, the Maroon squad has found themselves playing on high school hoops' biggest stage, a maroon filled Breslin Center. Looking to continue to write history, Aiden Belisle and the Maroons look to win only the second state title in school history. But in their path was a 24 in 2 Schoolcraft Eagles team. Menominee down two, and Brady Schultz going to swipe that one away. He's up, and that one is in for the easy two. Game now tied at four. Ty Risky gets it to Asher Polhaski. Nothing but net on that three. Schoolcraft shot 100% from behind the arc in the first quarter, putting Menominee in a hole. Eagles lead 15 to 10. Try Trying to climb out, Aiden Belisle dishes it to Brady Badker, who nails the three ball, cutting the Schoolcraft's lead to five. But the Maroons cannot contain the Eagle sharpshooters, Ty Risky, and this time he passes it off to little brother Shane Risky, who is wide open and just nails the triple Eagles lead 46 to 28. With time running out, Belisle knocks down one of Menominee's two three pointers in the fourth. The Maroons only made five the entire game. Schoolcraft still out in front 46 to 33. Trying to get any momentum going, Belisle Mile punches the ball to Schultz, who gets the steal and lays that one in. But it is just a little too late for this Maroon team. They fall to Schoolcraft 59 to 49. A tough loss in the moment, especially for the eight seniors on the hardwood. But many see this tournament run as a springboard in the Maroon basketball program. Yeah, I, I think you'll see their legacy impact many classes going forward, um, just with how they've interacted with people and, and how likable and approachable these guys are. Um, there is awesome people to be around. Uh, they'll hold a special place in my heart and in the hearts of everybody in Menominee here for a long time. Yeah, you know, I've been playing with these guys for uh, quite a while now. I'd say around third grade and I wouldn't want to go with anyone else. Uh, we haven't we haven't been to the Breslin in about, uh, I think it was 50 years I heard. And now uh, every little kid in the stadium should uh, use this as energy and time to get in the gym and everything. And uh, hopefully it'll be there one day here too. Uh, a lot, I know a lot of little kids are coming out to watch us. We do a bunch of camps at home. We help uh, run with our coach, and the kids are so excited to come out and play with us. Um, so and even watching us, or even um, even home games, seeing all the little kids in the stands cheering for us after a home after a home win, they all come up congratulate us. We will get pictures with them. So. They really look up to us, and it, it really brings life to the program, I think. A heartbreaking and an emotional loss for a team who's put on a season that many Maroon fans will hold on to forever. Reporting in East Lansing, Haley Schongart, Local 3 Sports.